everyone welcome to path to nowhere so it's confirmed that we are getting irene on november 24th up to december 20th so it's going to be two weeks of summoning for her but we'll have kind of a discussion whether you're gonna skip her banner and uh, wait for the next one which is around to, uh, december 20th and or 21st so let's go to that next banner that we're you know we're trying to guess what what's gonna happen next so these were the banners that dropped so you have zoya you have summer you have here stargazer of course the next one announced was arena these banners by the way uh, came from um cn server but after that i'm not sure if her her name in english version is Nacha, but it's it's not here we're gonna be taking a look at both of their kits whether you will be waiting for Nacha, or you can pull for Irina. Okay, let's move on to her, her skill. First is going to be Irina. So for this is her exclusive crime brand. So critical damage increased by 10, 12.5, and 15%. Added exclusive special kill. Dark chest player after it is turned on. Um, contract Annihilation will stay on the battlefield when Annihilation Core is cast on an untarget ta untargeted tile and corresponding effect will be triggered according to the type of enemy target uh, after the enemy target approaches. English translation needs a little bit of, of a cleanup release again to cancel this effect. Okay, so all I understand here is she's going to be getting um a lot of critical buffs and also let's start off with her normal attack so arena dishes out 92 percent of her own attack so it's she's going to be magic damage then for her ultimate it's contract annihilation energy consumption is 40 so she's a bit expensive in terms of energy she's gonna take a lot of time to to charge she's a core breaker and uh, as you can see here, Irina releases the Nucleus of Annihilation the Battlefield M depending on the enemy type, whether they have a core or not. So no target grid, no core, um, no core target. So this is just your regular enemies. The damage is going to be 700% of its own attack, magic damage, and 50% deceleration to enemies within the range. So 50% uh, slow. This is going to be one, you know, one good ultimate with damage and debuffs built in. So if it's an unbroken target, meaning uh, the, the target has a core, but, you know, still intact. Open and detonate the space cracks that in intersect the five square range, causing two, this, uh, two spell damage equal to 250% of own attack to all enemies within the range. Within one point of core damage each. So probably two core damages when this happens. Because you already have one built in and this kicks in if it's an unbroken core. The core target has been broken. Set off an annihilation turbulence in a single cell range. Causing magic equal to 900% of own attack to all enemies within so for her ultimate it's gonna have a lot of damage it's also gonna have um what they call this a, a debuff built in and moving on to her first passive whenever a friendly unit casts a skill casts a skill not cast a kill the damage of arena's next cast of core of an annihilation will be increased by 15 percent and this effect can stack up to two layer so this scales up to 27 percent this is nice but the next passive is going to be better what a co collusion when arena stands next to the director's cross so either front back left right one point of the director's energy and five points of arena's own energy will be restored every 30 seconds so she's going to restore energy for herself and for the director or the chief so overall overall she's she's nice she's nice to have 
Um, she's she, she has a lot of value in terms of energy regen, debuffs, and damage. So let's take a look at the other one, Nacha. And let's see if uh, we can... Uh, Nacha's role is similar to Bai. Okay, take note. So um, Irene's role is, is going to be similar to um, Hekata. So damage a magic dealer with a lot of damage. So both of them, Nacha and Irene, are going to be different. So there's no way that what you call this that we can really say or confirm apples to apples. It really it would really depend, guys, on what you need and what you have already. Some of you some of you might have Irene. Some of you might not want to build her further. Um, you guys might might want to wait for Nacha. So we're going to take a look at Nacha. So similar to the role of Bai. So Nacha um, for her exclusive effect, add an exclusive uh, kill skill shining stage. Nacha moves into the designated space to generate star theater within the skill range, which lasts for 20 seconds. The movement speed of enemies in Stardom Theater is reduced by 40 and at the same time they get a snake tooth mark every two seconds. So I think she has an aura that, that decreases movement by 40. When Nacha is in the Star Theater, she gains 10, 12.5 or 15% attack bonus. Can only be used once per battle. Though this is her exclusive crime brand. Moving on to her skills. So she deals lesser damage than Irene. So, uh, at 80%, her ultimate, by the way, is if after Nacha is charged, she uses the, cha the chain to hit the ground, causing spell damage to 600 of her own attack. As you can see here, this is the skill range and one point of core damage. So definitely, in terms of core damage, I think she's going to have... Unlike Bai, that you have to move multiple um, areas to what they call this to destroy, um, de destroy um, cores. For her, it's more of in that grid, in that nine grid, you can de destroy cores for multiple enemies in multiple grids. Okay, I hope I'm correct on that one. Um, to all enemies within the skill range and add Snake Tooth Mark to them for 12 seconds. So Snake Tooth Mark is um, um, it's, it's additional damage. It's like poison. But not really a, 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 a damage over time effect. It's an additional damage if I think the enemy already has damage. Kind of like that. Not sure. Um, we'll have to see when her, her skill is out. So that is her, her, her ultimate, shadow, Snake Shadow Entanglement. And her passive, Thermal Effect. When there are no enemies in the grid, the normal attack range is, is expanded to 9 square grid. And at the same time, a 30% normal attack damage increase bonus is obtained. She is similar to Nox in terms of the extended range. So, but this has conditions here. So, when there are no enemies in the grid. And there is an increase of 30% normal attack damage in, um, increase and bonus is obtained. Then the last passive is after Nacha triggers thermal effect six times. She flips in the air and performs a sweeping attack. Causing magic damage equal to 300% of her own attack to all enemies within a skill range. And adding Snake Tooth Mark to them, which lasts for 12 seconds. The release speed of the skill will be affected by the attack bonus. Okay, so she again, she's, si she's kind of similar to Bai, but she has more of an area effect. Um, let's take a look at the rankings, guys, and see how they do in the tier list. Both um, Irene and Nacha. So for Irene, for her category... She is tier zero. Definitely a must summon. Again, for me, I don't have her yet. I'm definitely going to be getting her in her banner. So I think I'm going to be going for Nacha as well. But I have to go get Irene because what I prefer right now is more utility. 
while um, Nacha already have Bai at this point, so I'm I don't need her. She's a good add to my team, but not really a must. But Irene for me because I don't have Irene. I need her for the energy and damage and the debuff. So that is it. So again, it would depend, guys, on what your need is. For Notcha, she's at tier 0 0.5. Uh, if you have Labyrinth, if you have Bai, definitely she's a good add-on. But again, prioritize um, you know, who you're going to get. If you guys have Irene already, most of you will be going for Notcha. So... I guess you'll have to wait for her banner if you can save up more. But for those who don't have Irene, I would suggest that you go for her banner at this point. Um, she's the last piece of the SSRs that I'm I'm really looking after, uh, looking for. So hopefully I could get multiple copies of Irene uh, because it's her banner, and that is it. Both are good. Both are in the top of their class. Um, Irene is just the god goddess of her class. So that's a difference. And Irene has a unique ability wherein she re regenerates energy for herself and for the chief. And again, a lot of damage for her kit and also um, debuffs in terms of slow. So again, Irene versus, versus Nacha. I'd go with Irene because of the versatility. Nacha would be a good add-on unless you don't have Bai or Labyrinth. So it's your pick, guys. Take your pick. I'm just going to be showing you the differences, who to prioritize, just in case you, you know, you, you want, um, you know, a, comp a, a comparison between the two because both are going to have their banners in, you know, it. they're going to be coming one after another. So at least now you have the option to, you know, either hold your summons for Nacha or go for Irene. So guys, thank you very much. Hopefully this helped and uh, stay safe. See you in the next one.